Cells in parallel are often something that catches students out at A-level physics. So let's have a go at a question where we've got two cells in parallel. So they're identical batteries, each one has an EMF of 1.5 volts, and each one also has an internal resistance of 1.6 ohms. So we are after the current, and we also have a 2.4 ohm resistor down here, which we're going to call capital R. Um, so we're after the current in the whole thing, let's have a look at how we resolve and how we look at these two cells in parallel, first of all. So first thing to say is that we've got cells in parallel. Um, the electrons only ever go through one of them. If you're an electron going around the circuit, you're going to come up here. You're either going to go through this cell or you're going to go through this cell. So overall, the EMF of the total combinations is just going to be... 1.5 volts because the electrons don't go ever go through both cells they only go through one of them so the total emf is just going to be 1.5 however the resistance is a bit different so the total internal resistance between the cells they are in parallel so we have to add them in parallel so we have one over the total which is equal to one over 1 1.6 plus one over 1 1.6 so that gives the internal resistance as halved um, that means it's 0 0.8 ohms. Now, once we've done that, sometimes I find it helpful in these kind of questions just to redraw the circuit once you've found something out or once you've figured out what to do with it. So basically, it's the same thing as if we've got a series circuit with an EMF of 1.5 and an internal resistance of 0 0.8. And we also have our big R, our sort of load resistance in the circuit down here as 2.4 ohms. Once we get to that point, let's just look at our um, EMF uh, equations. We know from our equation sheet, EMF is equal to uh, the current times by the sum of the uh, resistances in the circuit plus the internal resistances. Um, so therefore, let's just plug our numbers in. We've got 1.5 equals the current we don't know, 2.4 down here, plus the combination of both those together is 0.8. Um, and if you do um, solve for there, so I equals uh, 1.5 over uh, that's 3.2 and um, you should find that equals 0.46875 um, which is going to be 0.47 so that's option b for this question